talked about something on the show uh, a couple of months back that just sounded like sci-fi technology, um, but it's it's something that's had great strides since we spoke and is now in a different place. So tell, remind our viewers what Embrace is. Sure. Uh, well, viewers probably haven't heard of Embrace yet. What they may remember me talking about were these sweatbands that had electronics inside and uh, little electrodes that um, ride on the surface of your skin. And these sense electrical changes in your skin that go up with uh, autonomic stress. So if looking at people's eyes makes you very stressed, the signal will go up. If uh, there's a situation, um, a room with fluorescent lights or some noises that really bother you, the signal will tend to go up. And we originally built these to help our friends on the autism spectrum who were non-speaking so that people around them could better understand what the stressors were in their lives. Uh, and now I'm really excited to say, because a lot of people have been asking for a um, non-researcher version of this. Originally, we just built them to see if there was something there and to get uh, data to prove that there was something measurable and useful. Um, but now there's actually a product coming out, and it's available on Indiegogo right now, um, pre-ordering. It's uh, going to be shipped in July, um, and that's called Embrace, and it's a much better looking version of, <laughs> of all of these things. It's professionally made, not stitched together by my team and me. <laughs> It's very sharp looking. It's absolutely, uh, it's, it's very, you're styling with that. Uh, but, but you found something pretty amazing when you were, when you were doing this research. Am I correct? Yes. One of the, um, one of the boys on the autism spectrum who was wearing it over actually this time of year, winter break, uh, his, his big brother had borrowed sensors from our lab to see what his little brother, you know, was having going on that was stressing him out. And, while I was looking at the data back in my office at MIT, I noticed that one of the day, well, most of the days looked pretty typical. This boy had no different autonomic stress than, than any, anybody, any other kid I'd looked at. Um, but there was this one period where he happened to be wearing sensors, on, sweatband sensors on both sides. And one side went through the roof and one side stayed flat. And I thought, ah, the, the high one is much too high. That's impossible. It must be broken. And the low one looked like it was working before and after this moment, but how could you have a response on one side and not the other? And um, long story short, after thinking maybe both sensors were broken and, and on and on, we finally learned that both sensors were working, uh, but there are regions in the brain that can give rise to different signals on the two sides. And in this case, the humongous response was caused by a seizure. Yeah, and, and, and so what has this, what have you been able to take this technology to do now that's so exciting? Yeah, so we learned that the kind of seizure that, that our sensor picks up is the most dangerous kind of seizure. It's the kind that can not only cause the tonic-clonic shaking, um, but it can cause your brain waves on the surface to go flat afterwards. It can cause breathing to be shut down. And if nobody comes and checks on you if you have this kind of seizure, then you might not start breathing again. Mm. So um, we've learned that it's very simple to, that most people, if somebody just checks on them, you know, takes them and turns them over and says, are you okay? They'll start breathing again. Mm. So most deaths after, most deaths in epilepsy happen after the seizure, and most of them um, happen because the person is alone. So we realized we could recognize the signal, and we built a machine learning detector for that. It's it's highly accurate in our original set of data done at MIT. I have to be careful. Um, Empatica cannot claim to have a seizure detector right now because we are going through FDA approval. Okay. What we have is a device that detects motion and autonomic events and that runs the algorithm we developed at MIT that's published in Epilepsy. All um, right. Detecting <laughs> seizures over there on the MIT. Um, but what it, what it can do is now um, this version is going to be able to let you say that you want a certain kind of alert uh, issued if it happens. You want a sound, you want um, a vibrating um, wrist for yourself first to, you know, make sure it's not a false alarm because mm -hmm. if you're unconscious, you know, you can't do anything about it. But if you're conscious and you know that it's a false alarm, you can um, stop it. And then the signal will go to whoever you designate. It could be a parent, a friend, a roommate, a next door neighbor. Uh, and that could have them come and get to you. And getting to you in minutes is fine. You know, they can uh, check on you, make sure you're okay, make sure you start breathing again if that happened to have 
caused a gap in your breathing. For any parent who has a child who has had seizures or they're afraid that they'll have seizures, what I think what this will do is give them the ability to sleep again at night without worrying, uh, which is a pretty amazing thing. And we're running out of time here, but I want to talk about, so at this moment in time, the Embrace is on Indiegogo, and there's something really important that's happening between now and December 25th if people choose to participate uh, in the Indiegogo account. So talk to us a little bit about what, what they can do. Yes, whether or not you have epilepsy, whether or not you want to get one for a friend, um, it tells time. It's a gorgeous timepiece. It helps you learn about your stress. It also records sleep and activity. And so we think it's better than the smartwatches that are out there right now. So we want to encourage people to uh, check it out, get one, give one. And the really cool news is there's a donor giving one, a child-sized one. Uh, we have it for the legs also for children that um, is going for free to a family uh, who can't afford it, who has a child with life-threatening seizures. So if you um, get one or tell others about us on your Facebook or social media pages um, and encourage people to get one, uh, even if they don't have epilepsy, because then somebody who has epilepsy and really needs an alert can get one. Wonderful. So you want to go to Indiegogo, put in Embrace and Indiegogo, and it will come up. I did that this morning. And and we should note that, again, this technology started working with individuals who are on the autism spectrum. Many individuals on the autism spectrum, uh, a great many, uh, also have seizures and seizure activity. But you're hopeful that this is going to continue to help individuals on the autism spectrum, even without seizures, correct? Yes. In fact, I owe a big thanks to this community because it was made originally to go out of the lab for people on the autism spectrum. And it was many of you who helped shape it and helped tell us what you wanted it to do. For example, many people came to me and said, could you give me an alert when my levels are starting to climb before they overwhelm me so that I could know if I'm getting ready to sort of heading toward a meltdown? Because uh, a lot of people don't have that awareness to distinguish when that's happening, when yeah. the stress is getting big. They don't sense it until it's so high that they that then they can't do anything about it. So this device also can be configured to just give you a gentle little alert when your level climbs a certain amount that you specify. Wonderful for self-regulation and also for those of us, you know, if you have a child who or an individual who doesn't able isn't able to communicate verbally, a way to be able to see when their stress levels are climbing before you get to meltdown stage. 